Welcome in, everybody. Um, Who are you talking to? There's nobody here. The boy child's here. Hello, hello. Uh, we may have some other friends join us, but I went ahead and started it early. Because the boy child's here. You just like to jump the gun. I do. I do like to jump the gun. And the shark. Hopefully not the shark. I don't know what that means. You but... might clear the gun, but maybe not the shark. Yeah. We got some Marvel news to talk about, some Disney news, movie news, Bluey news. some Bluey news, unexpected, Unexpected. Uh, but first I'm going to welcome in the chat. You don't have to wave because you're not on camera yet. Uh, I can't even reach into the frame. You can't even frame. reach into the frame. Oh my, y'all are so far away. So far, and yet so, so close. Uh, welcome in, oh wait, it's scroll back. Just Kent, I'm waving in spirit. Waving in spirit. Um, people are saying hello. Hello. Uh, Kenneth H, uh, Vicky Gillespie, Nicole, happy haunts. Those are your first three finishers. They took gold, silver, and bronze tonight. What, they, they uh, for first in chat. Oh, did they? Yes. <laughs> uh, they got, they got the poll. So I guess Kenneth's national anthem would be played. What is his national anthem? Hopefully not the Dutch national anthem. It's not the Dutch I've national anthem. He's really, season. he's a Formula One fan. Uh, welcome in. Evan is the boy child, not Kenneth. Uh, Stacy <laughs> Rogers, Spaceship Ears, Disneyland fan. Uh, Jan S. Disney. Uh, dear Debbie Bernfeld. Hello, Mama Debbie. Good to see you. Uh, Spaceship Ears. I said, I'll say it again. 
Uh, Samantha Lowe, welcome in. Mari Memphis, hello. Good evening. Christine Hickman, good to see you. Um, let's scroll on down. Penn Smith's here. Hey, hey. Penn says, let's bake a cake. I would like to. I'm good at baking. Um, Disneyland fan, howdy. howdy. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's scroll on down. <laughs> Hundred Acre Wood, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, Vicky Gillespie's here. Howdy, Chris S. Good evening. Uh, Theo Sam Eagle, hello. Good to see you. Uh, let's see. Amy AJC Magic TV, welcome in. Disney Freak, hello. Good evening. Uh, Julie McCowan's here. Good to see you. Uh, David Baco, welcome in. Uh, there's Julie. It's about to jump on me. Uh, Katie Wild, welcome in. Uh, let's see. Did I, my mind, I got everybody. Nick in Virginia. Hello. Good to see you. Crafty Disney mom, Samantha. Good evening, Samantha. Hello. Um, and we're called up like that. See, th this is what Steve likes to do. He likes to start early before everybody's here in chat. So, so you don't have to wave as long. Like 80 people. <laughs> so he doesn't have to wave as long. So. I, I just don't understand how I'm awful with names. Because I'm reading it off a list right here. Yeah, but you have, like, some of them have display names and not their real name. And you go, hello, display name. And then in, like, a slightly lower <laughs> tone, you say their real name. And I don't know how you remember that. I would be. It's just remembering everybody's name. I just, I'm terrible with names. I remember faces. <laughs> I'm a visual learner. I hope y'all can hear the boy child. I, um, think you, I think they can a little bit. I see the mic jump up every time I talk. Okay. Welcome in. Oh, here's your. I've been waiting on a text message from the girl child. Oh. Uh, What'd she say? What's the story, Wishbone? Uh oh. Okay. So. No. Uh, Samuel Wilkinson. Hello. Welcome in. Good to see everybody. Um. She says that uh, she, she's spending the night. I think she's got her nights mixed up. That's okay. She's a confusing person. I'm not sure. And she's she's not in chat right now, so I'm not I'm not sure. But uh, I think she's planning on being here at some point tomorrow. Maybe not spend the night, but here's anyway. Welcome in. We're trying to make birthday plans as the thumbnail mentioned. Uh, hello from Australia, boy. Uh, uh, Penn says hello from Australia. Uh, tomorrow is the girl child's birthday, yes, and boy child's uh, is Sunday. Um, yep, Stacy says hers is next Friday. Australia is cool. I want to go to Australia one day. Uh, and sends me uh, reels from Australia and and weather. And weather. Information sometimes. It's always hot. Pen, Pen is also a big K-pop fan though. Oh uh, really? Yeah. I'm a Australian Formula One fan, but I'm not from Australia. I'm just a fan of Formula One in Australia. Oh okay. That's an important distinction. I'm not sure what that means, but okay. Because they race in uh, Melbourne. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh. David Baco says happy birthday. Uh, dear Thank Debbie you. Bernfeld says happy birthday to the girl child. She doesn't care about you. That's okay. I'm just kidding, Debbie. <laughs> um, good to see you. Uh, Penn says she's in Melbourne. Ooh. They so, race in Melbourne. You need to. You ought to go. You'll have to wait a whole year for them to come back. But you should go to the Formula One race in Melbourne. Yep. Well. Sometimes they race in Melbourne, and sometimes they race in Sydney. Uh, Spacey Pierce says, my daughter's boyfriend's birthday is Sunday, too. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Penn says, boy, child, I have worked at the Melbourne Formula One. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> now you have his attention, Penn. That's cool. So, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Dear Debbie says, happy birthday to the boy, child. I'm so sorry. I would never forget about your birthday. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, Dad. Um, I appreciate it. Yeah, he's fine. So, um, hope everybody's had a good day. Penn says, "I, I, in capital letters, I love Formula One." Oh, hold up! <laughs> now wait a minute. 
this is just open ourselves to another Where, is it? Certain... No, 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 no. Real quick, real quick, real quick, because this is required. Top three race drivers, in your opinion. Pen, pen. Pen, yeah, pen. Pen. Top three. Who pen. are who are your top three right now? Drivers and teams. He wants to know who your favorites are. Your top three, pen. Drivers pen says, teams. "Come stay." Come stay, I do. <laughs> Don't gotta tell me twice. Let me work for like another month. Come stay then, next March, she says. Next. All right. That'll work. <laughs> that'll work perfect. I, I will clear up my calendar. The, the boy child, she's Red Bull. <laughs> you know what? All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. It's all right. Um, we can fix that. <laughs> Evan, Evan is a. Evan is is a. No, I. I, I can tell you're about to say a Red Bull hater. She said I, just Red Bull. That's it. Just Red Bull. Okay. Now, wait a minute. She says, come at me, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I Okay. Uh, see, this is a tough situation. Jay Grubb says, I did work with Ray Hall Racing. That's cool. Ray Hall is uh, IndyCar. Oh, that's cool. That's see, cool. I don't know enough about IndyCar. I need to that's learn. That's cool. I need to learn. Um, Red Bull, I love me some Checo Perez. I love Checo Perez. Checo Perez. I love Checo. Red mm-hmm. Bull, great, reliable, wonderful, but I am so tired of hearing the Dutch national <laughs> anthem. I'm so sick and tired of it. I'm sorry. I have cut the race off before she, the podium celebration every time. Huh? Yes. Yes, yes he's uh, McLaren. Yes. Uh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Jeff God did welcome in. Howdy. Hello. Show boy child the what for, Pins. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I am McLaren and I am Ferrari. I, McLaren and Ferrari. I, I, oh, man. So good. What am I listening to? Wait a minute. My music was in a different language. I started freaking out for a second. Here we go. I forgot I that like, there's Spanish music on my playlist. I like Leclerc. Le, Leclerc. Leclerc. I Leclerc. love, dude. Okay. I do like Leclerc. Okay. Ferrari and McLaren. Jonathan Chong, welcome in. Hello. I still can't reach into the camera frame. But anyway. And I greatly respect. Signs. Max Verstappen. Dude, okay, yes. His skills are just. Max is super good. Mm. He's super talented. He's amazing, right? <laughs> okay. Sounds like Evan may be <laughs> sleeping in the garage. Oh, my goodness. Um. <laughs> okay. Max is amazing. He's wonderful. He's he's funny. He's fast. He's a good um um he's a good driver, right? But three World Drivers Championships, just go drive uh Le Mans, okay? Like let somebody else win. Thank you, Stanley Sox. Thank you. Um what did she say? What did Penn say? I didn't catch it. What did she say? She said OMG, a boy that loves Mac and Ferrari. I don't know if that's supposed to be sarcastic or not. He says, nope, you can sleep in my studio. <laughs> I, uh, yes, I, I, <laughs> Dad, am I the only one that feels like they are listening to the teacher from Charlie Brown? <laughs> Why? Because I'm off camera? Because you're off camera. <laughs> <laughs> wah, 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 What the heck? Nick Nembrosio, welcome. So mean. <laughs> but anyway, but yes, I agree with you, Daddy. You're right. Yeah, I respect Max Verstappen. Um, but... I just I need somebody else to win. Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it when science wins. I love it when science wins. Anyways, I'll quit yapping. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, I can talk about. She said sarcasm. There's oh okay. <laughs> I uh, I don't have enough Formula One friends in the states. That's the issue. I don't. <laughs> I have like he does. It. He he converted his two best friends basically. I, can, I did, but they still don't know enough. I'll be like, oh my gosh, did you guys hear this? And they'll be like, what are you talking about? So what does that mean? They really only watch it when I make them watch it. And I have one friend that's really into Formula One like I am. And he's converted the girl child. Now that tells you. That it's a good sport. How much he's into this because he's converted the girl I just child. Talk about it, I just talk about it to enough people uh, frequently enough to where they just, they're forced. You know? anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I don't have enough Formula One friends in the States. It's, it's not as popular as it should be in the States. Yes, I could talk to just about anyone who likes Formula One for hours. 
It's not because he's off camera. He could be sitting right where you are, Chris. And I'd still say it was like listening to the TV. Why? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Y'all are mean. <laughs> Fine, then. I'll quit. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'll just do my Legos over here. My Formula One Legos. Nicole right. said, I look up to my brother all the time, so I understand if the girl child follows her brother. I don't know. If she, I don't know that it's that. I don't know. I think. That I think child. for the girl child. No, wait. I think for the girl child. I know, I think Evan I showed the girl child some of the drivers, and her immediate and that got the girl child's attention because I showed. I literally all I had to do was show her a picture of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz, and her exact words were, "Why are they actually hot?" <laughs> And so she started. Now she's into Formula One. <laughs> yeah, she's into Formula One because of the cute drivers. So, which is valid. Uh, Angie, sparkly pink diamonds. Welcome in, Angie. Uh, howdy, howdy. Um, she said, but pretty cars that go zoom. She doesn't yes. care about the cars. She did, she's not really. Well, she's we're getting. She's there. into the fan. She, she's following the sport. She's following she likes to watch. She likes to watch with him. She does. She'll watch so. it when I watch it. Yeah. But yes, pretty car, cars that do go zoom, but just not enough paint. On said, yep, that will do it. Okay, I understand it now. Girl, child found a snack. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Maybe I should say. Kind of like the cheerleaders. Exactly, like the cheerleaders, you know. Mm-hmm. You're just in time, Angie. Exactly. So, there you go. Um, Jonathan Chong says, the best drivers were not always cute come on that's true that's true that is true that's very true because um let's be honest lord bless him he gets that way when he gets excited about something sorry his volume turns up sorry anyway um i was gonna say lord bless him max Verstappen. not really a looker but boy is he Mm -hmm. fast so anyway anyway Uh, maybe i should just start my own streaming channel and just yeah okay why didn't he start off with that fact that they are hot? Always start off with that if you want women to pay attention. That is true. Yeah. No. Oh. So. Anyway. Anyway. Sorry for yapping. Sorry for being loud. Nope. I am all the way over here. But. Finn says the cars can be heard 100 miles away. Which is amazing. That's how cars ought to be. Just saying. I, I want to tell y'all, so here's a here's a non-related but side story. Please stop. Um, I passed one of the uh, Mustang uh, electric SUV high th- crossover things. Mach-E, that, thank you, that. I passed one of those on the road today. As I was driving past it, I rolled down the window. That's a plane. That's a plane. Sounds like it's about to land on us. Um, yeah, the TV fish. Yep. Um, the, as I passed it, I rolled down the window to listen to it. And all I heard because the, the road was wet was tires on a wet road. That's that was all I heard. Make it makes no noise. That is the weirdest thing to me. It has a Mustang label on it and it makes no noise. Oh no! My little nub that it just broke. It's like torn. I was oh. cleaning it and it tore. Um, the oh, Teslas no. sound ridiculous as pen. They do well. They they don't make any noise until you put them in reverse, and then they hum when they're in reverse. And it's uh, it makes no sense to me. I don't understand. Welcome in, uh, Nathan. Good to see you. Hello. Uh, uh angie said she got a part birthday present from her sister the hocus pocus cottage and a disney daisy duck brickhead that she's planning on glittering planning on glitter. so she's got an idea to put together the daisy duck brickhead that's back there on that shelf okay and then she wants to paint it with glitter Notice the long pause. Marguerite Nagy, welcome in. Uh, Moving in, and Nick says, happy birthday to the boy and girl child. Thank you. Um, 
found Hello Kitty brickheads. We don't have those here. We don't. We might need that. She said crickets. LOL. <laughs> exactly. I told you. Nobody does that. Um. So. Uh. Somebody. Nick Damrogio says Mach E has a sound package. Well, this person must have had it turned off because there was no sound coming yeah, off of this thing. Even then, like, why would you want manufactured sound? They're doing that with the Dodges. I know. And yeah. they're like, the, the tech guys are like, listen to it growl. And I'm like, we have a friend. What do you mean we have a friend? We have a friend to join us. Oh, we do have a friend. Hello, friend. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Friends. I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, we're good. Thank you for saving me from Formula One talk. Saving you. <laughs> More like blessing your ears. Thank you very yeah. much. Not into you Formula One talk. Up. I got to cross the camera. Oh, he's going to cross the camera now. <laughs> <laughs> to the trash can. It's my AirPods broke. Don't throw it away. No, it's the nubby. It's broke. They're broke. I'm going to order new ones. Okay. I'm going to go on Amazon real quick and order some new ones. Okay. Now he's going to cross the camera again. Chris, do you remember when we crossed the camera on a certain stream? I remember that. So uh, when we were at Pete's for the meetup last year, uh, Baker was cooking in the kitchen and he was live streaming it. Okay. So we decided we were going to start on opposite sides of the kitchen and just walk <laughs> behind him just doing random things. That's something that I would do. <laughs> that was so much fun. Uh Angie says he is so tall. He is tall. He's six foot three. I'm six three without shoes. Six three. But I'm wearing boots. So I'm probably about six five right now with boots on. So yeah. That's pretty That tall. was fun, Debbie. That was fun. We we mm -hmm. were like we, we, we were had the blow pops. We had blow pops. <laughs> blow pops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we would walk across and meet somebody halfway, and then we'd hand them the blow pop and then walk, keep walking. Yeah, it was fun. It was right in the middle of the stream. Right like, in the middle of the stream going. while he was going. It was just, yeah. Never acknowledged us, never reacted. Just and you kept said, going. We, she, yep, he never acknowledged it. People in the mm -hmm. chat were blowing up from it, but Baker yeah. never, yeah. No, Steve is like an inch or two, like an inch and a half, maybe taller than I am. The boy child uh, was, <laughs> was when Steve walked in, he was a little taken aback. He didn't realize Steve was that tall. Oh, I forgot. He forgot Steve. I've met Steve in person before, but yeah. I forgot mm -hmm. just how tall Steve was. Has it been, what, a year or two since yeah, I last yeah. saw him? So I forgot how tall he was. He's he's two bit Debbie Bernfelds. He, he is two Debbie, really? two Debbie <laughs> Bernfelds. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's, he's an inch and a half. So, so Pete's doing this thing now where he'll do on, on his Wednesday night stream. Uh, and Molly, it was Molly's <laughs> idea. It was a really good idea. Mm -hmm. He does um, Guess Who? And he'll show like a baby picture. You told me about this. And then and another the little picture. picture, picture and then, and then, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first person he did, he showed, was, was Molly. And everybody thought it was me. Uh, that's <laughs> The baby picture. I don't know if that's more unfortunate for you or Molly. For Molly. I can't help it. My mom dressed me like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Penn says her housemate is six foot five. Uh, sure. and, and she wants to know if you're into anime. He's not really into anime. I, oh, well, hold on now. Wait, let me finish my story first. Okay. Um, what story was I telling? The baby pictures. Oh, the Pete with the baby pictures. So, <laughs> so last night he did it. What would you do without me? <laughs> Last well, night he did it, and and it was Mama Debbie, Debbie Burnfield. Okay, it was yeah. obviously Debbie. Burnfield. It was obviously Debbie. Obvious. I mean, so I don't very, know what Debbie looks like. I well, know. yeah, you don't. But but one of the pictures looked like Debbie when she was like eight years old, and so I put in chat, "That's obviously Debbie because she's the same height that she was at eight years old." Wow, <laughs> Debbie, I wouldn't take that kind of disrespect. Yeah. Well, my guess was on her first baby picture, the baby baby picture. My guess was dad built, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's become a thing now. It's a thing. Um, but anyway, to, to answer his question, um, I 
I like, like, this is going to sound kind of goofy, but I like the basic anime. I watched, I watched One Piece, the, the live action. I watched the live action One Piece. And I love, and one of my favorite shows ever, some people consider it anime, some people don't, Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah, he, they, they were both big in that show. Not the live action. The live, I do not like the live action. <laughs> but the animated is absolute gold. I've rewatched that show multiple times. See? Uh, he is not wrong. I'm the same size as I was at six years old. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, spaceship ears come out. That he's gonna send in his first picture of a fertilized egg. Fertilized egg. That's funny. <laughs> Let's guess who it is then. Or guess who? That's uh, funny. <laughs> that's pretty good. Like health class in middle school. Mm-hmm. Finn does say that 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 is animated. That game. yes, Avatar is so good. I have so to tell y'all what what he made me watch though yesterday. <laughs> Let me don't don't jump the gun. <gasps> I have to. Oh my gosh! I, oh, it's so good. I have to. It's so good. <laughs> I can't believe you made fun of me for this. I I, I I've got to find this. He was he, flaming me for Molly. It. He made me watch this last night. Um, I'm going to share the screen. He was flaming okay. me for it. I thought, I think it's good. Pingu. 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 There you go. What pingu. is that Pingu doing to the other Pingu? <laughs> I have no idea. That's, that's, um, you know what? I don't know. Um, but great <laughs> I would question the appropriateness of this. Th- this is a, it's a, like a claymation. It's a claymation show. kids show. Kids and show. And it originated in Switzerland. Oh. Switzerland. Yes. And they speak, uh, Penguinese. Uh The Disney Baker, welcome in. It's the boy child and the girl child's birthday. Spaceship Ears says, love Pingu. I love Pingu. I love Jonathan Pingu. Jonathan Chong says, Pingu is so yes, good. See, and you were flaming me. He was flaming me for it last night, saying it was weird. <laughs> Penn <laughs> says, I up. hate that penguin. What? <laughs> that <laughs> That's not all Penn said. <laughs> Penn said a lot of things about that penguin. <laughs> What the heck? Wait, Chris, has Evan ever watched the new Avatar, The Last Ever? The next Netflix No, I hated he it. Hates I watched it. the first two episodes. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. So Pingu is... is So good. It, it's the so good. Penguin and his mama and daddy. Yep. And, and it's and they just like England. little, like 11 minute shorts. Yep. Of, and he gets bullied. And he gets bullied and different things. And, and then the, you get later in, episode, in season one and he meet, he has a SEAL best friend. And they play together. <laughs> I know the lore, guys. <laughs> and so it's Pingu and, and they talk, Molly. They, they talk Penguinese. Well, is it like... like- English words with a no, Korean accent. Like, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, it's a little bit more high pitched than that. But so, from, one, from my understanding, from what I could look up, it's a mashup of uh, like Swiss and English, and then like reverberated and reversed to sound like <gasps> completely reversed. What if you played it in reverse? I wonder. That's if what it's I want to know. I think yeah. I think they've like I don't know. I from my understanding, it's like a combination. Pingu's dad smokes a pipe, therefore, yes, exactly. I don't like the way the penguin is staring at us. <laughs> I don't know what that penguin's doing to the other penguin. That's my concern. <laughs> Tis Noah, welcome in. Good to see you. That uh, that Pingu in the back has some eyes like he's doing something naughty. Yeah, absolutely. That's right, <laughs> Angie. Y'all, y'all can't just enjoy a, a simple kid's show. You just got to make it. I will say. <laughs> I will it's say these penguins in the face, literally. Yeah, Th- these penguins have very big feet. They do, and they make uh, <laughs> clapping noises as they walk around. There's a lot worse things that boy child could be watching on TV, so we'll just go with that. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's what I had to watch last night was Pingu. And I cannot believe you gave me crap for it. Look I didn't the- give you crap. Yes, I was just. Did. You were laughing and you said it was weird. It was and look at all the validation I'm getting in chat. I can't actually read what you got two here, people. But, and you know what? That's two more than you thought I would get. So I count that as a W. Okay? His feet, the, the big feet when they walk. <laughs> I just read that in the chat. I'm like, oh my God, Angie. 
Um, you have to clarify it for some people. Their minds are in the gutter. He watches Bluey. He likes Bluey. Yes. How does yeah. it compare to Bluey? Because, I mean, Bluey can't really be beat, right? Okay, this no. is okay. better so than Bluey. Hindu is a little bit different than Bluey in that it teaches you absolutely nothing, but it's still entertaining. I'm sorry, but you realize women are in this chat, and we don't think like princesses. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying you do. I'm just saying. Simba 2, welcome being Good uh, to see you, Matt. Um, I'm not saying you have to think cleanly. I'm just saying sometimes you can keep some stuff to yourself. You know. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, it, that doesn't go so well in this community sometimes, apparently. So, um, yeah, Pingu, go check that out. It's on Amazon Prime. You it's can watch amazing. it for free. It's amazing. I'll I'm check afraid that to put that on. in my watch list. Don't to see listen what... to what Pin says. She's she's not telling. <laughs> she's uh, opinionated. She's opinionated. Pingu is wonderful. <laughs> well, she's one of the only ones who's seen the show, so you I value you her opinion. Can't trust a Red Bull fan. Okay? Oh, see, that's what I was waiting on. I was waiting on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can't trust a Red Bull fan, okay? Yeah. Trust me, I've what been is... with Ferrari since they were they've been down, okay? It's it's a kids program. Yeah, it's a kids. Matt. The the language is really weird to me though. You know what? Oh, I'm curious. Because because the, the baby penguin didn't meet like his greens. <laughs> and the dad was like, <laughs> Actually, that's that one's accurate. You were pretty spot on. With that I want to keep talking about this show just to hear Chris quote them. <laughs> you could probably, well, I was going to say you could show it, but you could not get copyrighted. Yeah, I would. So. Yeah. Never mind. But it was. Uh, it, according to the writer, Silvio Mazzola in 1996, Pingo was the, Pingu was the most popular with high school girls and with over 90% of Japanese girls aged 13 to 17 knowing about it. I'm moving to Japan. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little weird. Does that anyone is else find weird, that weird? But... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I mean, so, and it's still going in the chat. I love it. It is still going. <laughs> Stacy said something about, so sorry, Pins, my Australian bestie, if she hates it. I will hate him without watching See, it. Jumping on the bandwagon, and just Pin, like Red Bull. Ben says, What's going on? trust me, you will hate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm picking up some friends and some haters today. She says, check out the grogs. What's the grogs? I don't know. Look at Mars comment. Are there subtitles so you know what they are no saying? No subtitles. That all the subtitles say is angry penguinese. Speaking or, penguinese. Or soothing penguinese. So or, penguinese is a technical term. Yeah, that's literally what they call it. Penguinese. Yeah. That's what they call their language. So we're not we're not lying when we say it's penguinese. That's what they call it. What if we went to the penguin encounter at SeaWorld and played one of those penguinese out loud for the other people? I want to I want to go and understand? speak the dad and see if all of them like come hurrying over. Okay, him. but actually hold Experiment. on. It's funny. Okay, complete derail, but since you mentioned uh, SeaWorld, <laughs> has anybody else seen the clips of those mimes at SeaWorld? Or am I the only one? Am I the the only mime one? at SeaWorld? Like when he's walking in that they're going to throw that baby in the water and then he freaks yes. out? Yes! <laughs> he is there's three of them. It's two guys and it. a girl. Seen that they all rotate different days. And it, they're the pre-show entertainment for like the Orca show. Mm -hmm. But they're so funny. And kind of creepy. Clips of them. They're hilarious. You'll have to look it up. Y'all need to look it up. Look up the mime at SeaWorld. Uh, okay. But anyway, um, sorry. You mentioned it. It's been all over my For You page. Lately. It's the boy. Po welcome in Poppy Poppy. But it's the, the boy <laughs> child. Not, not me. The boy child. Happy boy. birthday. He's turning uh, 32 today. I loved... Well, Walking inside the penguin exhibit and get a blast of cold air. That's yes. the best part. Really I, cold. I, I world, but we didn't get to watch the orca show, so I didn't. It's like mine. going into the cooler at Costco. Yes. Oh, it feels great. It's like stepping outside in Cleveland in February. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's <laughs> or <hot>. last week. <laughs> uh, Stephanie L says the moms are before the sea lion show. The sea lion show, not the orca show. Sea lion show. Mm -hmm. I didn't get to see them while I was I was there on a. Yeah. No, it was a church. It was a church. Oh, church it was a church trip. Yeah. Right about that. Yeah. 
So I'll send you an episode and you can, send, uh, that'll work. Send it to What's me. What's it on? I don't know. I couldn't find it. Um, you'll have to report back and let us know what you think of the grogs. I will. Uh, Jennifer Crusoe, welcome in. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, Mar said the penguins encounter. I went in stunk. It, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it does kind of stink. Yeah, it smells like raw fish and yeah, yuck. penguin poop. <laughs> uh, it took me like a solid hour of walking around in Sea World before I got used to the smell. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it is kind of a it is kind of a zoo. Stephanie says the mom's videos pop up in her YouTube shorts all the time. Yes. Yep. See, okay, I'm not the only one that's getting fed these yep. my videos. I feel better now that I'm not alone. Oh, she says the grogs are on YouTube. Oh. Hmm. There you go. I have to look it up when um, I travel to Australia. Next March. Don't forget. The Orioles now lead the Red Sox. Five, well, that was a few minutes ago. I don't like that news. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So, Anywho. how was your day, Molly? It was all right. You know, Thursdays are my Friday because I don't work on Fridays. So, can't okay. really complain. And it was payday. There you awesome. go. That's even better. So, you know, I'd be stupid if I was to sit here and complain. Yep. So, it was a good day. Nice. Yeah. Um, Dad had an eye doctor's appointment today, so I took him to that. Um, and then we went to eat lunch at a place called Bad Daddy Burgers. They bad do. what? Bad Bad Daddy, Daddy Burgers. Oh. I'm guessing they're good. They're very they're good. Bad. They do like mm -hmm. gourmet and they do like you can build your own and all sorts of stuff. And nice. So um Mom and mom and dad got a their version of a Philly cheesesteak and they rant and raved about how good it was. And uh I got Molly. Oh no. I ordered a turkey burger. Okay. No bun. Uh Monterey Jack cheese and a fried egg on top. <gasps> and then I would cut up little bites and kind of dip it in a little bit of mayonnaise and mustard. Good. I've been craving a hamburger. Mm -hmm. oh, it was so mm -hmm. good. Now, was the turkey burger, like, could you tell it was a turkey burger? I never had one. I, I couldn't. I mean, it, it tastes, of course, I haven't had, you know, real ground beef, but it didn't have a weird taste to it. It tasted, they had seasoned it and everything, and it tasted just like hamburger to me. It was so good. Well, it that's was, awesome. Good. Mm. I went out to dinner with my mom. Oh, nice. Molly's mom and Molly had a nice dinner Sweet. at a nice Italian restaurant over here. And so that was nice. Nice to spend time with mom. That's great. I, yeah. um, uh, I ate a little bit off of it for lunch and then I ate a little bit off of it for supper and I've still got enough left for another meal. I wish I could say that. <laughs> I wish I could say that. Um, so, yeah. Um, so I took them to lunch and then I went to swung by the mall because we, we live so far away from it. I figured since I'm right here at it, I might as well swing by the mall. And I got. I was going to say, I know where this is going. Is that the mall with the Lego store? Yep. Yep. I got the R2D2. Nice. Very nice. Uh, happy How birthday to me. How many pieces is that one? This one is. 50,000. This one is uh, 1,050 pieces. Nice. And you can, you can, I'll, the thing I like about this one is you can make him like the classic little three leg mm -hmm. R2, mm -hmm. or he's got little arms that you can flip up and his little antenna goes up. Oh. And you can put him on just two legs. If you and want. two legs. Look so. at that. Is he, how tall is he when he's done? Is he eight, like 18 inches tall? No. No, he's not. Uh, he's a little guy. It's rude to ask a man his inches. <laughs> not on this show. <laughs> not on this show. Not uh, after 1030 at night. 
No, this one, I want to say he's about 11 or 12 inches. Um, I'll ha- okay. Let me pull it up. Just That'll work. Line. Um, I really would like to have the big one, but the big one is like $239. Oh, this okay. one is 99 More this price one, point, yeah. That's more in the Chris's price range. So. Yep. Um. This R2 is, here he is, he stands, oh, his head turn rotates too. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Anyway, um, this R2 measures in at over nine inches tall. (laughs) Six inches wide, four inches deep. Hunter Acred Woods says R2-D2 is a lot of droid packed into a small package. That's true. <laughs> that, that, oh, and Zanlax adds, it's the girth that matters. That's right. Apparently. I'm surprised that Nicole didn't didn't ask what the girth was. Wow. She just dropped a wow. Mm-hmm. Um. Sorry. Welcome in, Dinah Murphy. Good to see you in Zanlax. Good to see you. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Simba to Matt says, okay, now you have my attention. Curb <laughs> um, your enthusiasm. <laughs> Mike Beachman, welcome in. Good to see you. Howdy. So, picked that up. And then um, I went to... Uh, I uh, also got... The boy child and girl child, their presents. Ooh. And the boy child is currently working on one of his. It's not his birthday yet, but I went ahead and gave it to him. Now, did you pick it out or did he pick it out? I picked it out. <gasps> oh, fun. So. so it's extra special. Fun. Howdy, sir. Hello. Ooh. Hello. Howdy, howdy. Hello, Mr. Um, Godfather. Hello. Do you have the box? Yes. So this is what. And he's working on it. I can switch the camera over. We just got done talking about 18 inches, 12 inches, and girth. Oh, got, look at that. He got that one. And, and that one or, moves, right? You pull yeah, this would that say you pull it back and it moves? Yep. I wonder if it moves just as slow as Mercedes does on track. <laughs> is that a Formula One joke? This is, is a Formula One joke. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just going to say hello to the chat and start over. Uh, Pin said, oh, sweet. Uh, and then I got him this one to go with it. Ooh. So he's got the large one of this one that's huge. Two and, and a half feet long. Because it's the length that matters. It's over 18 inches <laughs> long. <laughs> and th- he'll have this little one to go with it. So. There you go. Size really doesn't matter. Are these a bunch of new ones you got? That's what I got the boy child for his birthday. Oh, very cool. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. I also got him three Hot Wheels. Because <laughs> he collects Hot Wheels. I got him I'm a light collector. one that's a little red Vespa. I've never seen him do a motorcycle or a Vespa before. They, so I, they've done motorcycles, but I've never seen a Vespa. So I got him a Vespa. Uh, I got him a, um, a Shelby Cobra Daytona edition, like one of the race versions. It's, and it's got a Gulf livery. Did you shop for him or you? Him. <laughs> I almost. Um, and then, and then I, I, I got him. The, out. I got him the perfect vehicle. He's got this wide collection of really cool, like all sorts of cars from race cars to antique cars. And he really likes his Hot Wheels. I got him the perfect one to fit in the collection. I got him a Pontiac Aztec. Wow. <laughs> nice. I, yes. I, I'm I'm supporting him on the Hot Wheels collection. I think that's awesome. As, as he loves as Hot Wheels. I do too. I I have some of them. I have some up in my attic that I gave to Preston that are probably 35 years old. Like I've got the like if you like the old TV shows, I've got the original Smokey and the Bandit, the Dukes of Hazard car. I've got all those old school ones like that, and I've got a whole army. I've got a literally like tanks and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, of Hot Wheels. Yeah. Was that like when they they brought him out in World War II when you were a little kid? What are you laughing at, Chris? You can delete her. Welcome in. 
Uh, my snickerdoodles <laughs> here. Uh, welcome in. The, you have the, a list for this? The, yes. We made a whole list. Oh, okay. The, the, sorry. Welcome in to <laughs> the, the, uh, the, the, the Jamie to my Paul, the Lois to my Peter. The, Excuse me? The Lois, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? They didn't hear what you That's crazy. I know what I think you said. Please I text said the, me. the Lois. That's crazy. <laughs> You're wrong for that. You're so wrong for that. <laughs> I broke the boy child. <laughs> the Lois to my Peter. Again, I'm protesting. The the uh, the the Bo Peep to my Woody. The Jesse to my Buzz. Welcome in, Snickerdoodle. Hello, dear. They, see, they don't know what I know about why I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> wow. And I'm not going to say it because I'm nice. So, welcome in, everybody. That was so special. That was very <laughs> special, except for being associated with, with the loins. I'm not a. The loins. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> the loins. Uh, L O I S. Anyway, L O I N S. Loins. He's he's over here ranting. Okay? So... <laughs> anyway, what I was trying to say is, I used to collect just tons of Hot Wheels, and then I was like, okay, well, I have like nowhere to put these, and also this is just <laughs> I'm spending too much. So I've started giving them away to my nephews. Well, kind of my nephews. I call them my nephews. They're really my cousins. I call them my nephews. Anyway, mm -hmm. I started giving some away to my nephews. And then I also gave some away to, to some other kids that I know. But anyway, I bought this, like, parking garage to display Yeah, them so on. he got this thing from Amazon. And it looks like a, a parking garage deck, like a building uh, with three tiers. And it has little parking places and everything. Yeah. So he set up all his Hot Wheels in so it. So I, I, I only keep enough on hand i guess to fill up my parking garage and if i get more i give away ones that i don't like as much and replace them so <laughs> loincloth to your penis that's crazy that's crazy. i said lois l-o-i-s lois that's no crazy. i heard loins loins <laughs> i'm associated with loins and i'm not happy about it i'm probably issues with it over here because i'm i'm now getting bombarded by direct messages chris Fruit of the loins. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. That's crazy. No, don't stop sending me stuff. That's crazy. Jonathan Jong said he almost bought one of those kits. Parking it's garage. cool. I will say, uh, it was. Uh, it, <laughs> we are trying to stay on topic here, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness, this is. That's to on topic. Crazy. That's all that matters. Out, darn it. Um, the, the parking garage was cool. Um, it was a little bit pricier than kind of what I expected, but it's made of it's entirely made of wood, so that was kind of. <laughs> but anyway, what I was trying to say is, um, yeah, with Adobe, you see, yeah, I said Lois. No, you are saying you are no. You are I said saying, Lois. I will give Stacy that. You are. You, you said Lois. Because yeah. it sounded like loin, but yeah. it's Lois. Check your southern accent, son, and pronounce it right. It's my Aunt Lois. Your Aunt, your, whoa. Hold well, on. That sounds more like it. That's not what I heard when you were saying it before. Yeah, I was about to say it's Lois. It is. It's Stacy's right. It's, with, it's supposed to be with a W. But anyway, I keep, I only keep. Uh, hey, it's Snicker Snicker Doodle's still clarifying for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying so hard. <laughs> All right. So here I was thinking my dad ran a family friendly channel. <laughs> Where did you get that idea? You know, part I, it was just a hope, you know, just a hope. Come on, you know it wouldn't be half as fun as this. So come on. That's true. That's true, but I mean, you're not going to be 10. You don't need a family friendly show, right? Well, the thing is He'll 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 make these jokes and then turn around and call me crass for saying something. Because um, you're still a child. You're the boy he child. You into, he brought you into this earth. He's allowed to do it. 
That's right. You know, and I don't like I don't like this dynamic anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, I'm I'm gonna pivot. 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 Uh, uh -oh. Today was CinemaCon and Disney's presentation at CinemaCon, which is a meeting, a, a big convention for movie theater owners about what's coming out this year. Uh, so Disney did a big presentation. Kevin Feige was there to present stuff for Marvel as well. Uh, there was a, a good bit of news that dropped with this. Uh, they played the first 35 minutes of Inside Out 2. For the oh. Dang. Whoa, that's major. Um, there was, they they play, showed the first poster for a Daisy Ridley starring movie called Young Woman and the Sea. Not sure what it's about, but they released the trailer. Uh, Ray from Star Wars. Uh, they released the trailer. I haven't got to watch it yet, but they released the trailer. It hits select theaters May 31st. Um, they played a teaser from Moana 2. Mm -hmm. um, Why are they doing a second one? Yeah. Because um, everybody loves The Rock and they wanted more rock. There you go. Um. <laughs> It featured Moana singing a brand new song about returning home. Uh, finally, we're back to who we're meant to be. She sings. And The Rock says Moana 2 is so much deeper than a movie to me, quote, unquote. Ooh. Well, you know, he when the first one came out, he talked about his daughter, would mm -hmm. like, or is, I think it was his daughter, was yeah. like all over it and, and wanted him to sing it, sing the song all the time. John Day at the parks. Good to see you, John. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping in. Um, they um, also released a teaser for Mufasa, the Lion King. Ooh. Oh. Um, it will feature all new songs. Said he couldn't re release who reveal who's doing the new music. Uh, the director said, but but it will have all new songs. Um, they talked about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, said that it's the first movie in that franchise that will be uh, released to IMAX. Mm. Um, let's see. Uh, they got a new look at Snow White, which apparently they're still moving forward with. Who knew? I don't even know they're talking it's about that anymore. About that. It was not in the m list of movies to come out this year, though. So, um, they did release one of those things that we talk about for years, and it just never. It just never happens. It never happens. So oh, this God is. Uh, they it, like they like to do with with Marvel. This is your timeline of movies coming out this year. You've got kingdom of the planet of the apes, May the 10th, uh, young woman in the sea, May the 31st, uh, inside out June, the 14th kinds of kindness. Never heard of it. June, the 21st, uh, Deadpool Wolverine in July, alien Romulus, which they also <laughs> showed a teaser for, uh, in August, a real pain, in October, don't know anything about that one, and then Moana mm -hmm. two in November and Mufasa in December. So. Is that November? Does that coincide with like Thanksgiving weekend or something? Are they uh, going to be the big Thanksgiving movie? I think so because it I, it looks like November the twenty first from what I can read on the yeah probably. So hi hey hey uh, Tony Phantasmic Chronicles Ooh. welcome you Tony. Oh, I saw a little head jump up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he's happy. She's home. He's been mad at me for an hour and a half. Uh, John Day says, I'm beyond excited for Deadpool Wolverine. That's going to be insanely epic. Mm -hmm. So before they started, they uh, they started out with a little video of Wolverine and Deadpool or, or 
Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman talking about different multiverse scenarios. And then it went to a white screen and said, please put away your phones. Oh, so, um, they Kevin Feige did, did take the stage. He said that the Fantastic Four uh, will start filming in a few months. Uh, they did play, I believe, a teaser for Thunderbolts. Oh, and they have changed the title of Thunderbolts. There is oh. now an asterisk at the end of the word Thunderbolts. Hmm. Um, that was spotted. So a week or two ago, uh, Florence Pugh did a little behind the scenes uh, video on Instagram or somewhere where she was walking around behind stage in her uniform. And she walked up to the actor chairs that have the title on the back. And she, she didn't call it out or anything, but everybody knows there's a little asterisk at the end of the name. Um, Kevin called called it out today. He said, yes, you'll notice the asterisk on Thunderbolts. We won't talk more about that until after the movie comes out. And that's all he said about it. Okay. All right. Um, so he started talking about Deadpool and Wolverine, and he said it's blanking awesome. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. They showed nine minutes of it uh, to the cast, to, to the attendees. Um, Wade Wilson did a little video uh, intro into it. And said that uh, there was only one thing Kevin said was off limits, and it was that white powdery drug that he used a lot in the first two movies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Can you not say it on YouTube? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Good call. We'll just go with that. Um. They're, they're, they they talked about some. I'm, I won't give away some of the scenes that they did talk about. They did. There was some several scenes that were mentioned. Um. At at one point, Deadpool does turn straight to the camera and said, "Suck it, Fox. I'm going to Disneyland." <laughs> so I thought that was funny, but um. Yeah, they they're really hyping this movie. I think it's supposed to uh, supposed to really change things. They say that um, dead in the movie, Deadpool is chosen to save the sacred timeline from a looming threat, um, and and Wade's response is, "Does this mean loads of gratuitous cameos?" And of course, that mm -hmm. there's going to be tons of that in the movie. So always like that. Um, they talked about Captain America: The Brave New World that's coming out. Um, they compared it to Captain America: Winter Soldier, saying that it's going to be very grounded like that. Wow. Uh, they did release this image, which I found interesting. This is our first look at Harrison Ford as Thunderbolt Ross. Mm. And then um, Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson there in his Captain America outfit. Um, so, um, and then we Hello, got this Harrison from Ford. Entertainment Weekly. The first look at another first look at that. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, I don't think that was America's ass. I don't think so. <laughs> um, yeah. Or maybe it was Harrison Ford that you know took it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Captain America after the big rewrite. Yeah, they kind of did that. So, um, yeah. So. Today is, I don't know. Anyway, welcome <laughs> in. Uh, <laughs> we'll just go with that. <laughs> Spaceship here says, can't imagine any Captain America other than Chris Evans. That's, it, it's, yeah. 
That's true. Um, that's that's not America's swirling saucer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> the acronym. Alien uh, swirling saucer. <laughs> that's funny. I've never heard that before. It, it anyway. So there you go. That's that's some of the news that came out today. Um well, you're welcome. We didn't hear that though. Um you're just talking to those voices. I think Anthony Mackey will be a good Captain America. It makes the most sense. I, I get it. They're trying to transition and and he does fill in. He's got the uniform in, in the comic books, so it makes sense. Um He's a solid actor too. He is a very good actor. Very good actor. Um the the show, the Falcon and Bucky show was okay. Um uh, but it was one of those that was just kind of It wasn't She-Hulk, thank goodness. But but it, for what y'all the way y'all talk about it, I cannot tell if you guys love or hate She-Hulk. It's so hard to tell. I, lo- I, lo- I love it. <laughs> I, 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 I was with She-Hulk until the very last episode, and the last episode made me hate She-Hulk. Well, I, I couldn't get past the first episode, honestly. So, uh, so I don't. I never. I didn't see it in the last episode. What happened? It was that bad. I, it just annoyed me the way it ended. Oh. Um. So, <laughs> Stacy said, it's not like Sam hasn't been Captain America in the comic. Exactly. Yeah, he has been. I think it's Spaceship Ears comment. Spaceship Ears. Two ends, <laughs> one more. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Sparkly Pink doesn't like how She-Hulk broke the fourth wall. I don't mind her breaking the fourth wall. It's the extreme they went to in the last episode. That really. The- yeah, they overdid it. Those of us who haven't seen it. So they build up the whole season to get to the big climax of of the show, the big confrontation. Okay. And as it starts to happen, she breaks the fourth wall, breaks into Disney Plus, goes into the writer's room. What? And then confronts Kevin, the, the robot. And then she jumps back into the show and everything's resolved and the police are there and they're, everybody's going home. That's the end. That sounds awful. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I think you got to watch it to understand. I'm just saying. That's dumb. Um, the break has to be clean. It has to be like Deadpool. Uh, <laughs> so Cargo, welcome in. Good to see you. Which is so weird that those fourth wall breaks are coming from the same company. Yeah. Well, in the comp, okay, not not to get too nerdy, but She Hulk did it first in the comic books. Really? Yeah. But yeah. nowadays, Deadpool does it better. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think they should make a whole show where the Hulk is in that age. He was in Endgame, fully Hulk. But talk his banner. I'd watch that. That yeah, Professor Hulk. That'd be interesting to watch. <laughs> I, I want to know the backstory on how he got to Professor Hulk too. Cause yeah, they didn't really give you that. When we last saw him was like Thor Ragnarok Hulk, and then yeah. You know. Anyway. Oh, did we never get an explanation for that? No. What? So you can tell I'm not very read up on my. Yep. Marvel war. Um. So. Yeah. So, so far we've covered Formula One and movies. There you go. Hey, Wendy B. Welcome in. Good to see you. Jam Jams. Hey, who won the game? I, I'm taking it was the Orioles. Uh, very much so. Nine to three. Or nine to four. Mm. We had a six run 10th inning. Jeez. Copped off by a three run homer where it, when he, when he hit it, the camera looked at his face and he said, take that Angela Minter. And I was like, that's wrong. Oh, that's, you that's really crazy. shouldn't do that to Mm-mm. Angela Minter, but you yeah. know. no, so. be nice to my girl. Um, Snickerdoodle said formula <laughs> ones in DC. I sent him the picture of that. He thought that was really cool. But it was a promotion. But yeah. it, was cool. it was cool that they did that. 
Uh, Stacy said, I also don't think they utilized Tatiana and Miss Lonnie enough as She Hulk. She's a fantastic actress. I did like her in that show, and I would like to see them develop her more, but. The best part of that show was literally this. With two N's, one Y, but it's not where you think. I thought that was the whole show. It was. <laughs> Does anything else matter? No. No. That's all you need to know. That and when she talked to Wongers. I'm sorry, what? That's what Wongers. she. See, Wongers. That's who she called <laughs> Wong. Uh, oh. Doctor Strange's. Yeah. The best part of that baseball game was a, uh, one of the players getting called out on strike three, which was a legitimate strike three. And he turned to the umpire and used the F bomb three times in 11 seconds and got thrown out of the game. Oh, wow. <laughs> he around and it came right through. The, the, uh, the announcers go, I don't know what he got thrown out for. What did he get thrown <laughs> out for? And they turned on the mic where you could hear it and they uh -huh. let it go right over the system. Oh, geez. Yeah, it was it was three f bombs and a dumb three letter saucer. <laughs> yeah, he was gone before he even left. He the was court. gone, so. and you're out of here. And they had no other position player to put at second base, so they put the backup catcher at second. Oh wow! Yes, yeah, so it was fun. Um, that's funny. Alyssa Neil, welcome in. Neil said, "I loved She Hulk. She's hysterical." It, it, yeah. That last episode just did it for me. So. I think you're being influenced by someone who lives in a room. What? No. No. I, th I think he's penetrated. I think he's... He's, he's got, what? He's penetrated. He's got, Whoa, what? hold up now. Uh -oh. What? Choice of words. He's what? Penetrated. He's talking about me. That, no, he's talking about Steve. Uh, that last <laughs> Doctor Strange movie was not good at all. So Doctor Strange, I don't remember it. I think I watched it once. I don't remember it. It was, it was okay. I tell you what was bad was Ant Man and the Wasp. Ant Man and the Wasp, was, Quantumania was pretty bad. Was was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, was on a show. Yeah, she's on Orphan Black. Um, she, she did really good in that. Um, they, so you can pre-order starting today, I think, um, Moon Knight, the steel case Moon Knight on Blu-ray and DVD. Oh yeah. And the title for that on, um, Amazon or wherever you pre-order it and that they've released it as is season one of Moon Knight. So setting up for that there's going to be more. So not just Moon Knight as a limited series. It, they're releasing it as season one. So maybe that means there's a season two coming, but there's been no confirmation from Marvel. Girl Child would love that. I would love that. Two. That was one of my favorites. Uh, Do people so I, still buy Blu-rays and DVDs? Apparently. I, I guess. Apparently. I, I mean, it feels I, weird that we have to ask these days, but you kind of do. I mean, it's, yeah. um, they came out with, they're coming out with that on, on uh Blu-ray in steel case, as well as the Falcon and Bucky show, oh, uh, and or, oh, which was a really good series and the Obi-Wan Kenobi series that Brandy and Dave, Dave loves so much. So, <laughs> I don't know I'll have to send them. him the link for that. I love mm -hmm. You can get it right in Super HD to your phone and whip it up to your TV in a second. That's what, yeah. <laughs> I guess it's like part of the collector side of things, you know. Like maybe so. Maybe to some people, it's. Some I got, I got, not, I got nineteen milk crates of CDs downstairs. If anybody wants to buy them, I was just thinking. I got boxes and yeah, boxes of VHS movie. movies still in my basement. So there you go. Andor is fifty five dollars, forty seven bucks for the other three. Why is Andor up, Mark? I don't know. Why? It's more expensive to make because it's on another planet. I guess so. 
but there you see season one. That's a good looking case. I will say that it, it is. Uh, there's there's the front of the case, and then there's the back. Go back to it'll, the front. How great would that be as a collector's card? Oh yeah. Uh, includes bonus extras and concept art cards. That's cool. Oh, well, see, there you go. So it's a two disc set. What? <laughs> Couldn't get it all on one. I guess not. Which That's is... what she said. Um, <laughs> see, you're so close, but you're not quite there yet. It was, uh, the, it was almost there. It was almost there. Yeah. The comedic timing was almost there. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. Uh, here is the Obi-Wan Kenobi one. There's the, uh, front cover and then the, the back on that. So, uh, John Day says, I also think Black Panther 2 was just okay, but I also don't think that was the plan, sadly. Yeah. Yeah. Black Panther, I and Black Panther at two, I think was just okay. I liked it. I was really excited for the introduction of Namor. Oh, the Submariner. Pardon me, pardon me, Chris. Yes. Could you please introduce the boy child to So Cargo? What? Uh, so Cargo. Uh, yes. So cargo. Uh, what is the disembodied voice I keep hearing? That's the boy child. <laughs> oh, uh, he's off yeah, camera. Hold on. Uh, uh, yeah. They almost, still can't see. I no. still, dude. I'm like, I've got to be like a couple inches away from being in. Stand by. He's six foot ten and he's still not tall enough to show himself on camera. Well, he's on the other side of the table. And- oh, there he is. He is. It's hard to bend over like this when you're old as, as old as I am. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hello. Yeah. I really so miss those. That's the voice I'll sit on. Oh, well, bring that chair over here. It has too much work. There's stuff in it. Set the stuff over. But I'm working on my Legos. It's two whole things. Yeah, but there's not enough room right here for me <sighs> and you, so I've got to squat here until my appearance is over, and then I can go back to being <laughs> the Charlie Brown mom voice and continue my Legos. Here's the cover for Andor. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and then there is the, the back cover of that. Ooh, I forgot I have a green tea in the fridge. I wonder if it's cold. I want to go back and watch that because I'll be honest. I watched that series, but I don't remember it a lot. Andor? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I remember liking it, but I don't remember the finer details. Yeah. So. It's good to go back and watch good pieces of work. Yeah. I've I'm watched watch. I've watched Moon Knight about six times. Really? Yeah. I only watched it once. I'm watching Tombstone going to bed tonight. There you go. Um, Stacy says Lego for the love of all things. There's no S. All right, Stacy. Close enough. We'll be we'll be sure from now on not to call our Legos. Well, no, because it's I a uh, Lego is the the piece, and I have multiple pieces of Lego. Right. Therefore, I have Legos. That's an unseen thing. She's got a D in her name. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Diana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is this is new. You can, a little bit of green tea. You and Steve. Don't spill uh, that on the puzzle table. I know. I spilled it on the uh four here. Do you have anything to? There's a whole roll of paper towels right there. Well, this... it's not exactly at eye level. This is the Stitch as Gus Gus Funko Pop that was just just came out. You can pre-order it on Box Lunch right now. I don't know about that. There you go. Yeah, I'm thinking that. Stitch as Gus Gus the Mouse. I mean, I've seen Stitch as many things, but I don't know that I want to see him as Gus Gus again. Yeah. Another visitor that needs a sippy cup? Okay. I do not need a <laughs> sippy cup. Okay, I I can. Angie's right. I'm perfectly functional as a normal human being. Yeah. Say did you. Steve spill something while he was here? Yes. What did he spill? Chocolate milk on my table. <gasps> no way, really? 
Yeah. Which you can't even tell. Oh, here's you an invincible Funko oh, Pop. That show is so good. I need to watch the new season. Um, Steve's always leaving residue wherever he goes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not always sticky. It's like his calling card. What color is it? Well, I mean, he's he's got a chocolate, but I don't know how you pull that off. Oh, this is new, Evan. An infection, probably. Oh, that is cool. <laughs> this is. This is coming out May the 1st. This is the comment. He's talking about family friendly, and then he pulls that out. Whoa. Now, hold on. I did, not, I did not do anything like that. Hold up. That's pretty cool looking. This is the Commander Cody Funko uh, Brickhead. That's coming out May the 1st. That's cool. I always liked Commander Cody's schemes. Yeah. I still got that that helmet I need to put together. You do. I forgot about you've got Rex and Cody that you haven't put together. Yep. Um there was a teaser released or the trailer was released uh yesterday. Yesterday. For Joker Folly Adieu. I feel like you're not starring no, we don't even pronounce it correctly. Uh starring Lady Gaga who will appear as Harley Quinn. Well, wow. that'll draw just because she's in it. Yeah. When I said this earlier when me and him were just watching it. I never would have expected Lady Lady Gaga to be Harley Quinn. Is she an act? What does she act? I mean, I guess she's done a couple movies. She's the one with Bradley Cooper and all, but yeah, she did that yeah. one musical. Yeah, I, I, she could hold her own. Yeah, I don't think she's. Here bad. is uh, Joaquin Phoenix in the trailer as Joker. So this. Uh, this will be a musical. Which is so weird. Oh, like what? To make it a musical. It's going to be a musical. Okay. Uh, the, the song that's featured in the trailer is What the World Needs Now is Love, Sweet Love. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, no, she ruined American Horror Story. She can't act. She He's nuts. <laughs> oh good grief I'm, what we, we, we have opinions all over the place on this what is going on um it, it looks kind of interesting and it also looks kind of weird yeah. again I said this earlier when me and him were watching the trailer uh, it's either going to be pulled off very well and very tastefully or it's going to feel forced and ruin the whole the whole movie I sure hope it's country I don't. I don't. That I don't think it'll be country. Yeah, that old Bacharach song from the seventies. Yes, that one. That's the one that was also used in Austin Powers, I believe. So, um, that's what he does, right? The thing. Yes. The, yes, Mister. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Uh, whatever. Evil. Yeah, that guy. Um. There was all since we're talking movies. Uh, there was also a trailer released for a new Apple movie that's coming out, uh, starring uh, Scarlett Johansson and Channing mm. Tatum. Hello. Yeah. Uh, called "Fly Me to the Moon." It's set in the '60s uh, when they're getting ready to uh, do the manned space mission to the moon. Um. Scarlett Johansson is brought in as a um, media specialist to hype up excitement. And they come up with this idea that just in case things don't go well, because we can't afford to lose to the Soviets, they decide to uh, film a staged version of landing on the moon, even though they're actually flying to the moon. Does he ever take his shirt off in the movie? Not in the trailer. But maybe at some point. Maybe. Otherwise, it'd be a hard pass for me. Ray Romano is also in it. You get a little tease of Ray Romano in it. Oh, does, does he ever take his shirt off? <laughs> Not in the trailer. Oh, okay. Then it's a hard oh, pass. I, I thought you were going to say a Scarlett Johansson. Oh, no. Yeah. Ray Romano. Yeah. Hard Ray. pass. Hard pass for me. Hard pass for you. Yeah. Everybody loves Ray. 
So um, that's coming out. There's a new, um, I showed the boy child before the stream started. There's a new James McAvoy movie that's coming out that looks simply horrifying called Speak No Evil. Oh, it look, I want to see it. It looks good. Yep, I'll pass on it. I like scary movies. Uh, it's me, David T. Welcome in. It looks very psychological. Yes, I and love psychological. and very unnerving. I can't sit in my jam jams and watch horror movies. Sorry. <laughs> if it doesn't make my skin crawl, then it didn't do it right. More power to you. Go at it. I can't. I've never been a horror buff. Pen says, "Oh, that looks so good." Yeah. Uh, read the last two comments from Disneyland fan. Disneyland fan said, said, said. I emailed Wyndham and the owner called and wait, what? We come into the, uh, We're coming in the middle of the conversation. You're not going to believe this. I just got kicked out of my hotel for making an observation on how the hotel wasn't up to par. I emailed Wyndham and the owner called and wanted me out. She has no idea what this is going to cost her. I'm in Livingston, Texas, was staying at a La Quinta. What made it not up to par? Is the question. Uh, wow. Wow. What is yeah. That, uh, do they, what is uh, they do? Do they, are they like fewer? Or? Glad you're safe. Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, Turn At least you have another place to go to. Steve. Turn off the smoke machine and all that kind of stuff you got going. Um, is accepted. Oh, I'll do that. So cargo. Uh, I'll get it accepted. Um, Disneyland fan, I hope you have, yeah. Something else there. Uh, um that's crazy so um yeah i, I don't have anybody else got anything to talk about you can always keep talking about formula one anybody else got anything else oh, to talk okay. about <laughs> Not Formula One. Formula yeah. U. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So, uh, the couch was broken. Lampshades had holes, no hot water, and it was dirty. Wow. Yeah, I'd Ooh. leave too. I've got a story time, actually, based on that. I'm going to piggyback off of that. No, this is, like, legitimate. This is Don't shake your head in shame. This is, like, a legitimate. This is not me, like, I, this is not going to be one of those. I have a question. Stories. Hold on, I have a question. Yeah. When did, when did, when did Baker get there? That's, that's a good question. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You know what I mean? Those things were broken. Breaker, Baker. Anyway, go yeah. ahead. No, he wasn't talking to you. No, I, I didn't get the reference. Anyway, so uh, I went on a uh, church trip a couple years ago. Uh, we took a trip to Atlanta, Georgia for uh, a Braves game. We were going to stay. Uh, we stayed in a hotel for one night for a Braves game, and we were also going to go to Six Flags over right there, right? It's going to be like a little fun trip, right? Um, the hotel that we stayed at, I wish I could remember what the name of it was because I would totally blast them uh, publicly because they deserved it um anyway so we get to the hotel uh it smells like uh a certain drug as soon as you walk in it's not you can smell it the entire Kool -Aid. huh kool-aid yes sure um <laughs> keep in mind this is like with a youth group like this isn't like with a group of like older teens or anything this is like a youth group with kids ranging from like sixth grade up to 12th grade right so we walk in we immediately get blasted with that smell um, we get into our rooms and we have like 10 rooms cause there's so many of us, uh, eight out of the 10 rooms, uh, cockroaches were spotted in the room. Oh. 
Oh. Night. Uh, night, night, Pan. Good night. Night, Pan. This or, is why I stay only at Marriott. That's yeah. the whole um, reason right there. There was so there was cockroaches in eight of the ten rooms. Uh, two of the rooms there was blood in the showers. Uh, <laughs> there was no hot water. Where were you in Compton? Where were you? <laughs> there was no hot water. Um, multiple rooms. Uh, the toilets ended up clogging up just for seemingly no reason and had to use the communal bathrooms in the lobby. Um, there was, when we all tried to go to bed at night, uh, there was multiple, what sound like, like just people like running up and down the hallway, shouting random things. And, uh, the, the following morning, was this the Bates Motel? I honestly don't remember what the name of it was. I just remember it was mm. awful and shady. And the following morning when we got out. He said awful and shady with a D. Shady with a D. Yes. <laughs> um, don't forget the D. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's all uh, about the, the D. The following morning, we, there was like, Hello, a picture, like a drug deal went down in the parking lot. Uh, because there was like a white panel van and this dude like. Passing stuff, stuff. Anyway, you saw, you saw my van. Terrible. It was absolutely awful. Um, and to top it all off, one of the kids in our youth group um, cooked chili in a. He cut the top off of a monster can and cooked chili in the monster can using like a hot plate in one of the rooms to top the whole thing off. For, for I'm guessing, but I'm guessing by Chris's reaction, he's never heard this story before. <laughs> I th- I feel like you did. You, it, was just, it was a while back. Uh, long story short, hotel was absolutely awful. Uh, but you didn't get kicked out. This is what happened. Yeah, that is true. We didn't get kicked out. That's what um, happens when you country folks go to the city. Things get out of hand. Say what? Yeah. Say what? He said that's what happens when new country folk go to the city. No, because I'm okay. Well, uh, I maybe I don't know. Um, but media not calm. XP. Um, but the Braves game was fun. So. Where was this youth trip to? Tijuana? Where were you at? Atlanta. 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 Uh, Down to it was that like that explains the, it. We were in Atlanta, and it was like the hotel was maybe like five minutes from the stadium. It was crazy how low grade that hotel was. Well, when you go to a place that's a one hour motel, you're gonna get that. But we enjoyed the game. The game was fun. It was, I don't know if this helps the timing of it, if anybody knows. It was the, it was the Braves, they had the home game, whatever. Um, the celebration when the Braves won, it was like Star Wars themed fireworks. I don't know if that oh, I'd love to go to the Braves game. I've, I haven't been to the new stadium. I've been to, been to Fulton County, but I haven't been to the new stadium. Um, Six Flags was also terrible. Yeah. Six Flags was kind of bad. But Six Flags, is, yeah. Wasn't all that good. Yeah. All the employees seemed like they didn't want to be there. But anyway, that's, that's a good question. Are we going to see Steve on live PD? See, see me on live PD? No, Steve. He's my main fan. Good question. Uh, Weenie B says Atlanta is low grade. I'm just saying, and I live here. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah. But anyway, it was yeah. That's my hotel story. There you go. Do not go to Six Flags ever. Yeah, I'm not going back. <laughs> what was the Evan Hourly? What was that? It's never mind. What, no, what, what, what? I flew into the airport. I flew into the airport. Saw three people get mugged. It's crazy down there. That's, yeah, yeah. I don't know about. Um, I'll take your boarding pass and your wallet. Donna Murphy says I'm in Atlanta. Unfortunately, I'm a New York Mets fan. <laughs> Maybe that's the unfortunate part that you're new. I'm just kidding, Diana. <laughs> There are um, some nice places down there in Atlanta. Yeah. There are a lot of nice places. You just, if you go to the wrong places, you can really get into some wrong places quick. Yeah. Just like, just like any other city. I mean, Baltimore's the same way. Yep. Yeah. Um, so. But yeah. That was fun. Mm, that was interesting. Philadelphia. Yep. Philadelphia is definitely that way up by Stacy. It's ridiculous. That's true. They throw batteries at you. They throw everything at you. Yeah. Yep. What are you gonna do? So mm. well, I think we'll call it a night. You 
you said you were going to do Legos with me, and then you never even did any Legos. Well, you sit here talking for... Yeah, you sat there yapping, and you never actually did any Legos with me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Love you, though. The yeah. insubordination. I'll tell insubordination. <laughs> After you get him those nice birthday presents, this is how he yeah. thanks you. I, I, See, you that's what, what he's been building. Oh, yeah. Hi. Here. Better. I'm not very good at this whole camera thing, but I, I did the front. I don't know if that's any good. Yeah, that's good. good. Looks great. That's the front. Yeah, that's of it. Real good. It's got a Technic motor in the back. W way better than I could do. Well, I'm sure you could probably do the same with the instructions. Oh, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> it, yeah. So anyway. Is that all the pieces that you have left? No, I've still got. Oh, okay. But I mean, that's I'm over halfway done. Uh, we're letting Evan do the Lego this stream. That's true. Yeah, we did let Evan do them. Um, all that lip from the peanut gallery. Exactly, Sandlax. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh. It's funny because you're allergic to people. Mama Davy says, Boy, child, you better be nice to dad, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh. W will defend you. Yeah. Um, yep. Well, I appreciate everybody hanging out, Pete. Um, what you got going tomorrow? Uh, well, we got our Friday night show at nine o'clock for news, merch, and all that. A lot, a lot of, a lot of merch, a lot of news. Not much food tomorrow. Uh, but a lot of good stuff to talk about. We're going to dig deep into that disability disability discussion for the whole that. Yeah, we'll dig into that. And uh, there's a lot of new stuff from Disneyland. I got a lot of good stuff from Disneyland to talk about. We're starting to get a, a, a lot of nice group of Disneyland people that are starting to come into the Friday night show that want to learn and want to meet our community out here because mm -hmm. they don't they haven't found many communities like we have out there from the discussions that I'm having with these people. So we are mm -hmm. opening up the doors and welcoming quality people in that love disney i don't care where they're from but they just happen to be from the west coast so they asked me if i would put a little bit more disneyland stuff in so we got a couple extra disneyland things in. so that'll be fun uh sunday the sunday we have pink pam coming with the ladies triple c uh, show triple c show at six o'clock pink pam's really really just like jennifer crusoe last week it's another quality female creator in our community i know honoring and respecting uh, the ladies in, in the world is only one month, and that was last month. But to me, it should be 12 months a year. And we're going to continue what we're doing with Pink Pam on Sunday night. So come in and find out about her story and how she got into it. And uh, one of the things that Jen and I found from talking with her is that she really takes the time to make the people in her chat part of her stream. She goes out of her way mm -hmm. to have discussions with people that come into her streams. Uh, you don't see that as much as we used to. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, Tuesday we have, <laughs> we have, we, we have, you know, I've said this a couple of times that these last couple Tuesday interviews have been huge. This one um, from talking with, with Jen today is, as we prepared, this one's bigger than I could have ever imagined. Mm. Okay. And it's bigger for two reasons. One, the person that we're interviewing the, the Disney Imagineer, she has had her hands, and, and I mean, I've got picture proof on all of it. She's had her hands in Big Thunder, Splash Mountain. She's had her hands in um, over in Tokyo Disney. She was the first female Imagineer to take on a full attraction by herself, uh, supported, but she was in charge of it, uh, and she did that. And we're going to talk about that. She was, she was in, she was the puppeteer in the in Ghostbusters, in the canine that uh, that Sigourney Weaver turned into, she was in that. Uh, but she was a little, she wasn't busy enough, so they asked her, can you take on handling all the puppeteering of the facial action actions of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? And she handled that. She's she's presented directly to Roy, Roy E. Disney. We got so much, We got so much to talk about that we can't even cover it all. And she's going to ball energy and she's coming in on Tuesday night at seven o'clock 
Uh, but the bigger thing with that is, and I told Chris that this, this, this morning, um, I have put in a request for us to get, um, which would be one of my white whales for doing this channel. And that is Mr. Bob Gurr. And what they came back to me and said was share with me some of your interviews and let me see how you all do it. And then the key was, let me see how many people are watching you because we have a lot of requests. And respectfully, if you don't have anybody watching, Bob, Bob's time is limited. So we really need a huge, huge, uh, massive, uh, uh, you know, people in the chat on Tuesday night for what Jen and I are trying to do. And, you know, Chris, you and I talk about history of Disney a lot. You're extremely knowledgeable about it. And what we're trying to do with that show is to bring these historical people that have done something within our little world to the channel for people to actually get to talk to and ask questions to and all that. So uh, there's a bigger plan for this Tuesday night show than what we're just doing right now. So we could use the help. Um, quite well with red juice. Man. You're not kidding. I mean, well, it's, it's getting, it's, it's getting, you know, when Jen and I, Jen asked me when I did these, these interviews before, and we started talking about it, possibly doing it again and, and kicking this back up. The one thing I said to her is I want to get one degree from Walt Disney. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to interview somebody who has directly interacted or worked or been partnered with or whatever with Walt. And there's, there's only a few of them left on the earth. Yeah. There's not a lot of them left. And we, I was really close. What the reason I stopped doing my interviews on Tuesday night a year ago was because I was extremely close to interviewing Margaret, who was the original Tinkerbell. And at the last second, it fell through and it just really discouraged me. I just lost the, the drive to want to do these and, um, you know, doing some of the art stuff that, that we started talking about, got me fired up again. And some of these people were interviewing me, were interviewing Raleigh Crump's son, Chris Crump, who's an Imagineer himself, a father, son, Imagineer team. We got that coming up. So we're starting to get some of the bigger names and we're going to continue to do that and drive. And, and I'm determined to get somebody. Cause like I said, there's not a lot of them left. I know. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, in spaceship years, we were we were humbled by the fact that John's dad sat in with us, and you know the things that he's done, cool. you know. Yeah. And we're gonna bring. I don't know if everybody heard when we did that interview, but we are gonna bring John's dad back on the show in uh, the near future. I got to get with them and get that on the calendar. And we're gonna talk all about his grandfather, who is in who is an an Oscar winning person in our mm -hmm. community that we're going to talk about and what they've done. So a lot of good yeah. stuff to come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Awesome. Um, so yeah, be on with, uh, Pete tomorrow night too. And then back here Saturday night doing something. What movie um, are you doing Sunday? Uh, we didn't do interstellar Sunday, so we, okay. we should do interstellar Sunday. If, all's good with mr of the world <laughs> so um yeah that's the plan cool so anything any last words from you um i was trying to think of something clever to say but i'm blanking um it's been fun and yeah. uh I might be back on tomorrow. Oh, okay. Possibly. I've got to close tomorrow. Okay. But I've got more Legos to do. I've got plenty of topics to... Well, we're on Pete's stream tomorrow night. Okay, the following night. Saturday night. Saturday night. You can sit in. I can sit in. Well, I'll be gone. One of these nights... See, <laughs> this is the beauty about me never being on here consistently is you have to tune into every stream. See? <laughs> nice. There you go. There you go. Good to to nice. right. Ring, ring a ling the ding a ling. So you, <laughs> yeah, you sure, always know yeah. when we go live. Yeah. Yo, that was nice. That's smooth. Thank you. Smooth. You got to tune in and uh, you got to be watch subscribed. The whole and you got to subscribe <laughs> and you got to you gotta watch the whole thing because I'm not always here for the whole thing. It's ah. true. So, you, make, you make cameos. He's, like an, he's, he's an apparition. Yeah. <laughs> Boy child is a great marketeer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You just never know when he'll be here. You know, it's kind of like Wendy B dancing it on the table at night. I hope you just never knew you when never that was going to happen. All of a sudden it's her. Like, and 
Caruso and Regina dancing on tables. And- turn around and you miss it. Yeah, it's turn around and you miss it. Stan Lee cameos in the Marvel movies. You don't know when they are. You got to watch the whole movie to find them. But when you do find them, they're enjoyable. You know? Yep. I'm yeah. enjoyable. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> what she's. <laughs> <laughs> and that, was, that was a good one. Oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> See, Wendy says that's true. That's true. Yep. The ladies, they they were phenomenal. They were, you know, it, it, you know. Yep. It it's gonna be a it's gonna be a dog fight to get to their table this year after the dancing on the table. Yep. So, have a great night, everybody. Hope you have a good Friday. We just got to get through tomorrow and you'll be at the weekend. Molly's already there waiting on us. So hope you have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. He always. They didn't hear me me say it, so you're okay. I say it quietly (laughs) enough to aggravate you, but not loudly enough so the chat hears it. That's the beauty. Good night, night, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Love you all. We'll see. (laughs) See? I'm adding on. I'm not allowed to say what. You see, I'm spreading. You got to come up with your own tagline. Tell Ethel to roll over. I don't do that no more. Yeah, but that's your. I got to come up with my own. What's my? Yeah, name? come up with come up with something good that 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 flows from you. I can't wait to I hear what it is. It. Yes, use okay. your AI. It'll help you find it. For now, pull, pull, say pull it in the garage for step, and you're done. See, but then you just came up with that, so I can't. Get, I have to. I you have just to asked me what for you to say. I, I, I have to come up with something. See, it, it can't be your idea because then it's not my idea. Love you all. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. It's been fun. <laughs> There's a good one. That's been better fun. than something on the back door. <laughs> Love you. We'll see you. Bye.